not a lawyer either. I admit that I am not I, a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer, <laughs> and I don't mean to brag. You're saying that they're just looking at the stuff that seems inflammatory? Yes. And I'm pretty sure that's what a prosecutor would look at. Right. I'm pretty but sure the prosecutor wouldn't read I all the rest saying. of the stuff into the jury. Which is too bad, but I do understand what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, it is too bad. This, this just needs to calm down here. And I, I know this is being watched in um, your hometowns right now. And I, I say to all of you, too, look, you want to calm down. Because what happens is everybody gets all upset and then something really bad happens, and you go, oh, well, I didn't mean for that to happen. Look, there are remedies here. If, if you lost money, go to small claims court if you feel like you need to. Do whatever you need to do. But we don't want to wish ill on anyone's family. I don't want to wish ill on Lynn or Carrie, either one, or Mike or Lindy, anybody. Certainly, I don't want to wish ill on you guys. Your business failed. You, it sounds to me like you made some really bad decisions. Uh, in, in the way you went about shutting that down. Hindsight's 2020. Maybe you'll do better if there's a next time. But let's calm this down. And for God's sakes, realize when you're posting stuff on the Internet, nothing is private, and it's there forever. All right. I want to thank all of my guests today, and a very special thanks to you, Lonnie Coons, for being here and helping us today. Thanks so much. So long. This is Oklahoma's own News 9 in high definition. And good afternoon. Here we go again. A new threat for flooding impacting the metro and much of Oklahoma today. In addition to more rain we really don't need right now, these storms could produce damaging winds. But, David, the real threat right now is more flooding. Well, you know it is. It's going to be some localized flooding, guys, here in Oklahoma City. The good news, just when the rain hangs around almost too long, it'll start to wind down here in Oklahoma City. That's the plan. More on that coming up. Team of trackers, they're out today in full force, and they are scattered up and down, slicing and dicing this line from north to south to east to west. And these storms have been severe down in southern Oklahoma, producing winds with our trackers to over 60 miles per hour. And they continue to be strong, and they are impacting our, viewer, uh, our viewers right now with winds against 60 plus. Jim Gardner, he's up top now in the metro. And let's get an update from him. And let me show you where he is. And he's on the east side of Oklahoma City with this line that's moving through. It's not severe, Jim, but I tell you what, more heavy rain, exactly what we don't need. Give us an update. Well, that's right, David. You're looking at Lake Arcadia there, shooting back to the southwest uh, downtown, which you can't see, or the Tower Farm, where the stations are. You can't see them due to the heavy, moderate rain right now. But you can see that line right there. It looks kind of ugly, David, kind of ominous, but nothing uh, severe at this time, just more rain. A lot of cloud ground lightning is picking up since the last report, David. But again, just more water. Jim Gardner from live for Bob Mills. Scotty's nine, back to you. All right, great job, Jim. And again, uh, this line moving on through. Nothing real crazy in this line. I want to point that out in Oklahoma City right now. It's kind of low, kind of hanging down here, kind of ugly, little tags hanging off this, but uh, these are not spinning. They're lifting, but uh, they're not spinning right now. And there's, there's nothing like that right here in Oklahoma City, okay? This is going to be moderate to heavy rain. We'll get some localized flooding, lightning and thunder. So stay inside. Let this line come on through the metro. It'll move in like it's doing right now. It'll rain for a couple of hours, and then it will begin to end, okay? But we're still tracking it. Down in Texas today and Oklahoma, yes, we've had tornadoes, fairly substantial tornadoes down in Texas. Check that shot out there, Georgetown, Texas. Another fairly significant tornado, and another one, again, near Sherman, Texas, on top of that. Also south of Atoka in our state down here, and also north of Durant, we've had several tornadoes down here today with some damage north and east of Durant, south of Atoka. And then elsewhere, we've had wind gusts east of Lawton near Marlow and Duncan to 60 plus miles per hour. And that, again, that wind threat is expanding north and east as it heads to the north and east with that line of thunderstorms down there. These are the current warnings and watches. The watch box in green, that is a tornado watch in effect until 6 o'clock in Oklahoma City. But right now, the highest tornado threat, honestly, 
is along this line, but also well to our south and east. And the box lit up in yellow. That is a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for all of these counties where these storms are right here. And they're pushing again northeast. The big view, look at the storm system that's doing the spin. Low pressure now coming right through parts of southwestern Oklahoma. And then out ahead of it, we have all the lift going on in the atmosphere. Fairly strong jet stream overhead. It's very unstable. A lot of moisture in place. And this line... Again, from Guthrie, westbound down Highway 33, out near the golf course, back to Crescent and uh, Crescent City, Crescent Lake. We're talking about heavy rain going on here. You might have a little bit of some small hail, lightning and thunder. That'll be lifting north, but at the same time, the whole line is creeping east. Not that fast, so the rain totals in here, I think about a half an inch. Some places will pick up, I think, over an inch. The heaviest rain will be down here, down near where Allen is, headed towards Shawnee. East Norman will pick up rain. You don't need another drop of rain in Norman, and you're getting it right now. Light to moderate rain in Norman. Heaviest rain east of Purcell. And again, this cluster of storms, they are severe right now, running from Asher down to Ada, and then from there, north of uh, Colgate, but just south of Calvin, this is the severe line of storms headed towards Wewoka, headed towards Seminole, headed towards Tecumseh and Shawnee, and then eventually up towards Prague and Okima. These are moving off to the northeast right now at about 25 to 30 miles per hour. Anywhere along this line, we're looking at winds 60 to 70 miles per hour, and with that, we're also talking about possibly some small hail and some localized flooding. A couple of tornadoes on the ground north and east of Atoka and also southeast of Atoka, and we've had damage with these tornadoes down here today that are well east and southeast of our viewing area, but uh, we're watching them nonetheless. And across the metro, heavy rain moving from the south to the north, all right? But uh, again, every square inch of Oklahoma City right now dealing with light to moderate to heavy rain with this, like up in Edmond, up to Seward, and down through Arcadia, Lake Hawassi Village, Midwest City. And this is heavy rain falling right now that will end, though, as the back edge sweeps on through. Let's get about Castor. He's up here with the heaviest rain in southern Logan County. And get an update from Val. Val, not severe, but uh, storms, again, giving us exactly what we don't need. That's more rain. Give us an update. Yeah, David, uh, we have followed these storms through the entire length of the metro just to make sure that nothing serious was going to happen. And so far, so good. Uh, we've seen a couple of lowerings, you know, in the bases of the storms, but uh, so far nothing really threatening or anything like that, just a lot of rain, uh, which at this point is something we really don't need a lot more of. But uh, anyway, we will keep watching it, keep tracking it, David. Anything happens, you'll be the first to know. Back to you, David. All right, great job. And uh, Val's right here in the metro. And uh, again, we're just keeping the metro covered just in case something were to spin up or get a little rowdy. And that's not happening right now. So that's a good thing, as always, okay? All right, let's go to Bobby Payne. He's down in southern Oklahoma. Get an update from Bobby. We'll take his shot. Bobby, you've had some damaging winds in the last half hour. Tell us where you are and give us an update. Bobby dropped off. We'll find him. There's his shot. We know he's alive. We just talked to him. All right, let's go to Alan Brosey, and he's down south. Let's get an update from Alan. And Alan, heavy rain, winds 50 to 60 miles per hour, and you are just to the south and east of McLeod. Go ahead. Okay, David, I'm actually about six miles to the west of Asher, and from a line from Lexington to Asher, you can expect anywhere from 40 to 60 mile per hour winds. We, uh, we finally hit that 60... 60 mile per hour mark, wind driven rains, sheets, uh, sheets of rain blowing across the highway. So if you're out in this area, best thing to do is let this thing right over you. Uh, don't try to get out in it. Nothing tornadic at the point uh, at this point, David, but uh, we're going to watch it. Back to you. All right, great job. Alan Brosey again. Now he's to the southeast of Oklahoma City. Let's come back to the metro. Let's go to Marty Logan shot, and uh, he's had some lowerings. There's one coming through the metro right now. Marty, uh, you're uh, also moving through parts of central Oklahoma just to the southeast of the metro, and uh, give us an update on that storm. Yeah, we are on I-40 eastbound near Shawnee. We're going to probably shut down at the Shawnee area. We've just been running through some light to moderate rain, but ever since uh, we came through about uh, Weatherford, Yukon, on over through that area, we had some very small shear funnel, just some scary-looking clouds on the leading edge of this. But right now, all we're looking at is just some light moderate rain. We're eastbound on I-40. Back to you, David. All right, great job. And again, uh, Marty Logan, just southeast of McLeod. So heavy rain here in Oklahoma City. It continues to fall, and uh, this will go on another couple of hours. Let's go to Pathfinder 9 and give you a quick update on that and show you what it looks like. This is that severe line to our south and east now. This is going to miss Oklahoma City, at least right now. The severe line will go through Meeker, Prague, Shawnee, Tecumseh, Seminole, Wewoka, Holdenville, Calvin. And in this line, again, winds 50 to 60. There's nothing tornadic in here, okay? There's nothing spinning in here right now. We've had some weak rotation. From time to time, we get some rotation. So we need to watch this line. 
We're not going to say it's not going to happen, but we need to watch it, okay? In your timeline, Tecumseh 430, Seminole 434, Shawnee 439, Cromwell 456, and Meeker at 5 o'clock, Henrietta 552, and uh, we're talking about Stroud at about 544. So, guys, as of right now, nothing tornadic in Oklahoma City, just moderate to heavy rain, giving us more localized flooding. Guys, back to you at the Just a lot of rain, and you know, now's a good time. Make sure you have our News 9 app, and also you can get the latest weather information from David and our team by texting 9CONNECT to 79640, or just go to news9.com slash connect. We'll have all the information there. And talk to us on social media. Just make sure you use the hashtag OKWX. We'll be back with more in a moment. Afraid your air conditioner won't keep you cool this season? Call Airco Service today to schedule your air conditioning 26-point tuna for only $86. Call 715-2665. Voted Oklahoma's best. When we created the Silverado Rally Edition, we figured, why stop there? These four new Silverado Special Editions are just the beginning. From this year's fastest growing full size truck brand, Chevy Silverado. Or during the Chevy Memorial Day sale, choose this Silverado All Star with a total value of $7,750 when you finance through select lenders. See your Oklahoma Chevy team dealer. I was afraid of passing it through my breast milk. I wanted to earn my black belt. I noticed these black lines on my lips. My youngest son has asthma. So I quit. I quit. I quit smoking. Now I'm in control. I haven't smoked in over two years. Three years. Four years. Three years. What's your reason for quitting? Talk with your doctor and call 1-800-QUIT-NOW or visit okhelpline.com. What does your body say about you? For many of us, it says too much. But with Slim Lipo's patented dual wavelength technology, you can lose up to three pant sizes in a single procedure with little or no downtime. Slim Lipo tightens skin while eliminating fat cells. At Rejuvena, we have more liposuction and body contouring options to fit the procedure to you. Let us help you start reshaping your future today at Rejuvena. Call today for 50% off Slim Lipo. This month only at Rejuvena. It's the best year ever for a Frontier City Whitewater Bay Double Park Season Pass. Unlimited visits to two great parks. This summer at Frontier City, the mind-blowing new Brain Drain throws you for a loop. Plus concerts and Fright Fest free. Whitewater Bay, 30 water adventures and dive-in movies. A new ride, concerts, water park fun, and more. A Frontier City Whitewater Bay Double Park Season Pass is Oklahoma's best fun deal. Buy now for just $75.99 at Metro by Less Stores or FrontierCity.com. I really need these tires today. Do you offer financing? We do. Stress-free, so you don't even have to worry. We got layaway. I'll hold your car until you pay off your surface. Get around there. Man, he's good. No, 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 it's okay. He's a professional. He's our Ooh, It's okay. Shall we? Why cry? Hibden Tires Plus offers everyday convenience without the gimmicks. Like the Hibden Tires Plus credit card. Drive now, pay later. That's another plus from Hibden Tires Plus. Announcing the Summers on Us sales event from Kia. It's our best offer of the year. We'll make your first three monthly payments, plus 0% financing for up to 66 months on the Sporty Optima and the High Tech Forte. Both backed by our 10 year, 100,000 mile warranty. So hurry in to your Kia retailer today. The first three payments on us, plus 0% financing for up to 66 months, only at the Kia Summers on Us sales event. Spring savings are in full bloom at Airco Service. Purchase a high-efficiency cooling system, and you can save up to $22.50 in rebates, plus 0% financing available. Now's the time to save. Call Airco Service, 256-2925. Voted Oklahoma's best. Happening now, listen to this. Firefighters evacuated dozens of residents in the Twin Lakes community that's near Crescent this morning after rushing water caused two homes to drop right into the river. I mean, could you just imagine no. the fear those folks mm. went through? And with more rain on the way, even more homes could be in danger. News 9's Heather Hope shows us how first responders are trying to help out. This actually used to be called Dead Men's Curve, where a road extended into what's now called the Cimarron River. 
Starting late last night, two homes slid into the river, so firefighters evacuated about 35 families whose homes were close to the riverbank. Twin Lakes has 125 full-time families living there, with about 50 weekend families that are all present for the holiday. Many evacuees were allowed to come back into their homes. The area has suffered from river erosion before, but residents say because it's private property, it's hard to get federal dollars to assist. Crews are watching and monitoring, hoping the river will stabilize. Meanwhile, huge chunks of land continue to fall into the river. Our main worry is not the two houses that's fallen in. They were expected to go in at some point. It's the river may possibly come over into our lakes and it would flood the whole east side of our property. The Red Cross did set up an evacuation center earlier, but has since closed since a lot of people in the community are now taken care of. Reporting near Crescent, Heather Hope, News 9. And coming up tonight at 5 on News 9, hear from the mother in the Twin Lakes community there in Logan County who lost her entire home in the river. In far southeastern Oklahoma, the National Guard has been called in to rescue 13 people trapped by floodwaters near Broken Bow. Here is the video. Let me show you from the scene. The Highway Patrol says 10 adults and three children were stranded in a two-story cabin that was surrounded by water near the Mountain Fork River. Swift water forced crews to abandon the rescue two times, and now we've learned a helicopter has been called to airlift the people stranded out of that home. And due to all of the flooding, the Oklahoma chapter of the American Red Cross has several shelters open right now. For Noble, Slaughterville, and the Purcell area, you can go to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints on McGuire Road in Noble. We have just learned the shelter in Kingfisher. It is now closed. But we have a full list of shelters and more on news9.com. Around the state, one family in Muskogee found a big surprise in their front yard. Look at this picture. This is after Saturday Night Storms. Viewer Chelsea Wallingford has sent in this picture of a giant carp. Yeah. Chelsea's husband believes the fish just came out of the swollen Arkansas River and got stuck when the floodwaters receded. They didn't weigh it, but she thinks the carp tipped the scales about 35 pounds. I think Lacey Swope might be jealous of that one now. Yeah. You, you know? just <laughs> swam up in their yard. Yeah. Goodness. All the flooding. It's a pretty nice little fish, huh? Yeah, just to be well, right there. Yeah, well, you know, rivers are out of their banks, uh, nearly statewide. Streams yeah. are out of their banks. It's just a big mess, and we're getting more rain right now. The good news about what's coming through right now is that the rain's not going to be that heavy. I mean, it's just right when it's all like, oh, boy, it's going to be ending. And there's uh -huh. nothing right behind no. it for, for now? Uh -uh. Okay. There may, may be a couple showers around this evening, good. but no, this is not going to be a flooding event. Some localized flooding going on for Oklahoma City, but it's not going to sit on top of us. It's going to keep moving. But more storms down the road, talking about tomorrow. I mean, when's and I think it going to end? Severe. It's not going to end anytime soon. It's all a stormy right. pattern. The jet stream's still here, and it hasn't gone into that summer mode yet. So right. we're, still, we're still in spring mode around here for sure. And here's what's happening up top. Everybody's out and about right now. Team of Trackers, biggest team in the entire country. They're doing what they do best, and that's tracking severe weather from Tulsa down to Central, down to Southern and Western Oklahoma. We are running and gunning right now. But the good news is that uh, the main threat right now is just going to be damaging wind. And that's about it. Lightning and thunder, of course, but uh, the wind threat, uh, that's the highest. And these storms are fairly intense coming through the metro as far as uh, the lightning and as far as the heavy rain, but uh, nothing real crazy right now coming through Oklahoma City, but it looks like something crazy going on. Have his little fingers hanging down, look like funnels to you, but uh, they are not. Let's get a Jim Gardner shot and take it full screen and get an update from Jim. And uh, Jim, I know you've been tracking that line from the beginning to the end, pushing through the metro right now, though it's not severe, but it is kind of scary. Nonetheless, give us an update. All right. No jam. All right, well, we know he's there. He's got a shot. It looks good anyway. And I'll tell you where he is. He is now just north of Guthrie, south of Mulhall, uh, looking back to the southwest. Okay, Jim, I think you're with us now. Go ahead, Jim. Give us an update. Yeah, yeah David, you're right. Uh, you see where I'm at? I'm just north of Guthrie there, just crossed I-35. You're looking at that line that's what the line that moved through the city there. But we're just uh, getting a lot of heavy rain, a lot of cloud to ground, lightning data, nothing severe. It looks kind of scary. But nothing severe out of this, nothing's turning. But again, just a lot more rain, David, that we really don't need up around this area. Jim Garner, Point Live for Bob Mills, Scott News 9. Back to you. All right, great job, Jim. And uh, we'll check in with the other trackers coming up here in just a few minutes. Let's come back. Let's go back to the weather computer and storm reports today. We've had winds. Again, in excess of 60 to 70 miles per hour, pushing through southern Oklahoma, down around Marlow and Duncan, and even up towards uh, Purcell and Pauls Valley. We've had several tornadoes today in our state, northeast of Durant, with damage down here. Also near Atoka, tornado damage there going on today for Oklahoma City. We have not had any uh, severe weather, and uh, right now it's going to be just to our east. That's the way it looks. Here are the tornado warnings down in Atoka County. If you have any interest in McAllister, 
You need to call them, give them a heads up. This thing is headed towards McAllister, and it's coming in again from the south. That tornado watch in effect for the counties in green until 6 o'clock. The watch will be extended a little farther south and east this evening for the counties in the far south and east. But uh, for Oklahoma County right now, uh, no warning in effect for us. This is going to be moderate to heavy rain. Jim is right here. Val is right here, just south of Guthrie. And this is moderate to heavy rain. Folks, this is already ending now in Yukon. West Oklahoma City, West Metro, this rain is ending. Now behind this, we have gusty winds coming on in, so the winds are still going to blow behind this as we have some strong jet stream energy uh, overhead. The severe line is right down in here, okay, running from where Allen is over to Asher and Calvin. This line severe, heading into Shawnee, Seminole, Wewoka, Holdenville, Wetumpka, anywhere along this line. Right now, winds 50 to 60 miles per hour, and with that, you might have some small hail. And here are the two tornadic storms lifting off to the northeast. These are going to try to go on top or just south and east of McAllister. But if you live in McAllister, you know somebody who lives there, give them a call. If they don't know it already, that is trying to head either on top or just south and east of McAllister, but not by much. Heavy rain up into I-35, but again, the storms in the metro right now, they're not severe. Good old-fashioned rain with a little bit of lightning and thunder in there from time to time, and that is about it. But uh, this will move out, okay? This will not hang around with us all evening long, which is what we don't need. Down to our south, this thing continues to push to the north, and your timeline again coming into Seminole here shortly, back through Tecumseh. And then from there, it'll keep moving north, coming into Wewoka, Preg, Meeker, and then from there up into eastern Lincoln County. We're tracking it. Winds in there, again, 50 to 60 miles per hour. Here in Oklahoma City, from our Air Comfort SkyCab Network, 63 degrees. Look at some sunshine coming in out west. Right now, we have temperatures in the 60s and 70s. Rain cooled air in place for sure. And there's today's storm. There's tomorrow's storm. And that will bring us yet another round of severe weather. Look at the storms going on, folks. These things are lined up like crazy. It is an active pattern, nine-day forecast coming up. Guys, back to you. And we're following it. Here is a live look outside from Sky News 9 HD. Jim, right north of Guthrie right now, watching the rain. We'll be tracking it. We'll be back in just a moment. Let's break down 70. We've got six radioactive isotopes, a liquid used to embalm corpses, two chemical warfare agents, and a list of toxic chemicals you'd need a PhD just to pronounce. That gives us 70. The number of cancer-causing chemicals in secondhand smoke. Secondhand smoke kills nearly 50,000 non-smokers a year. Are you okay with that? Learn how to protect your family from secondhand smoke at StopsWithMe.com. Hurry, the race is almost over. We're on the road to 500, and Express Credit Auto's got to sell 500 cars before the end of May. Did the other guys say no to your credit score? We can say yes. We're offering lower car payments. And lower monthly payments. On a huge selection of cars, trucks, SUVs, and minivans. This sale ends Saturday, so come see us today. And don't worry about your credit. We can say yes. Everyone's a winner during the road to 500, only at Express Credit Auto. What's your home's greatest threat? Is it fire, storms, theft? Maybe it's your insurance, because the wrong coverage can be a disaster too. AAA can help, with home insurance as reliable as everything we do. With agents who help you get the right coverage. And with multi-policy savings when you combine your home and auto insurance with us. AAA, great insurance, great savings, and everything you trust about AAA. In times of snacking, it's your American right to bear flatbread sandwiches. Pow, pow, pow! Introducing new KFC flatbread sliders. The classic pow! Memphis barbecue with hand-pulled chicken and coleslaw. Pow, pow! And New Orleans spicy. rat a tat tat Each one cooked up with hand-prepared chicken. Fire away, America. Look at that. At $1.49 each, you can shoot all three of these in your mouth. It's still finger-licking good. <laughs> As a Hispanic growing up in the U.S., it was a little challenge at the beginning because it's a different culture. I served in the military for eight years. I started applying to ITT Tech right after I got out of the military. Taking new challenges is always good. I'm not stopping here. I'm continuing. Scholarships and financial aid are available for students who qualify. To find out more, call 1-800-ITT-TECH or visit us on the web. ITT Technical Institute. Education for the future. Nissan gave a lucky few the ride of their life in the 2015 Nissan Altima. Where am I going? Where am I going? Nissan Altima. 
with blind spot warning and up to 270 horsepower. Get the ride of your life at your local Nissan store. Lease Ultima just $189 per month, plus bonus cash, or choose 0% financing for up to 72 months. Bonus cash ends June 1st. Shop ChooseNissan.com. Nissan, innovation that excites. E.T.'s Summer Book Club with the star's emotional tell-alls. I go in my closet and just cry. Melissa Rivers on saying goodbye to Joan. Once they removed the ventilator, I got into the bed with her and held her. The surprising confessions from Brad Garrett's alcohol struggles. I would hit a fifth a day sometimes. To a Soprano star's weight gain. I was really a tabola. And to John Cryer hook up with Ashton's ex, Demi. Awkward. Oh. <laughs> That's DT. Today at 6.30 on News 9. Well, despite the threat for more severe weather today, Oklahomans spent the day honoring our country's and Oklahoma's finest. This morning, the 45th Infantry Division Museum held its annual Memorial Day ceremony, complete with cannon fire, and several dignitaries were on hand to personally thank the veterans in the audience. Boy Scouts and members of the VFW took part in another ceremony at Rose Hill Burial Park. News 9's Lisa Monahan was at the tribute to the fallen heroes, and she will have more on the ceremony. Check that out tonight at 5 on News 9. And Memorial Day, Americans in Washington, D.C., taking time to remember the soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines who paid the ultimate price for our freedom. President Barack Obama laid a wreath at the Tomb of the Unknowns and spoke about the sacrifice so many Americans have made. Each simple stone marker, arranged in perfect military precision, signifies the cost of our blessings. It is a debt we can never fully repay. Mm. The post office also paid tribute to veterans today. 48 living Vietnam War veterans and Medal of Honor recipients are now featured on a stamp sheet that was unveiled today. And now for something on a good note. How about this? A couple from Wellston is celebrating 75 years together. Happy Ooh. anniversary. Thelma and Glenn Miller were married 75 years ago in 1940. They've lived in the same farmhouse since 1950. That is so sweet. The two met in church when they were just teenagers. And Glenn remembers he walked three miles to get to church that day. <laughs> and when I went in and sat down, there was a guy who took out a bottle and took a drink of whiskey. <laughs> and then this little old girl sat down over the, on the end. She scooted real close to me and said, I'm afraid. Well, I'm uh, glad that there was a ploy there, there somehow. <laughs> what do you think? Maybe. The Millers have one daughter, a handful of grandchildren, and some great grandkids as well. Man, congratulations. Mm -hmm. We love to hear what's going on in your neighborhood. Email us goodnote at news9.net, just like the Millers family did, or send us a note on Facebook and Twitter. Use the hashtag news9goodnote. Still have a lot more to come, including a Townsend warning for the loss of one of their own firefighters, the reason he's also being called a hero. And families across the state are experiencing significant damage and loss due to the recent weather. We speak to a Purcell family whose home is now nothing but a muddy mess. Who said sightseeing has to stop at sundown? Enjoy the show at visitmo.com. We've been thinking. There's a sound the ball makes when it catches nothing but net. Everyone loves that sound, that precision. At GMC, we get that. Nothing separates the men from the boys like nothing but net. This is precision. This is GMC. Now, during the GMC Spring Sales Event, get nearly 5,900 total value on specially equipped 2015 GMC Acadia SLT models. Swish. And your new dentures will be ready in a few weeks. A few weeks? How am I going to eat? With this. Uh -oh. I am not doing that. Okay, let's try something new. And your dentures will be ready Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Mm -hmm. mm. At Aspen Dental, we're not just fixing teeth. We're fixing dentistry with dentures in days, not weeks. Just call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL. Still got three minutes. I'm tapping them, activating the speaker, blocking here. I don't know. I think everything is better if you use it on the server side. I got it. I got it. Hey, I wonder who this is, guys. Look, it's my new Wi-Fi modem from Cox. I forgot this was coming today. Wow. Guess I have the fastest internet now. 
Trust the nerds. Get access to the fastest in-home Wi-Fi from Cox with high-speed internet as low as $19.99 a month. And ask how to get a $200 prepaid card. Wow. Let's go install it! Yeah! Get access to the fastest in-home Wi-Fi. Cox High-Speed Internet is just $19.99 a month, including free security software and free cloud drive. Wow. What are you waiting for? Get access to the fastest in-home Wi-Fi. Cox High-Speed Internet for as low as $19.99 a month. Ask how to get a $200 prepaid card. Call today. Let's break down 70. We've got six radioactive isotopes, a liquid used to embalm corpses, two chemical warfare agents, and a list of toxic chemicals you'd need a PhD just to pronounce. That gives us 70. The number of cancer-causing chemicals in secondhand smoke. Secondhand smoke kills nearly 50,000 non-smokers a year. Are you okay with that? Learn how to protect your family from secondhand smoke at StopsWithMe.com. To rekindle the romance, sometimes all you have to do is melt glass. Enjoy the show at visitmode.com. Chief Meteorologist David Payne, the Oklahoma weather expert. And our top story this half hour, our team of meteorologists, they're tracking more wet weather moving across and out of the metro right now. Well, the biggest threat, of course, more flooding in places where water is standing still or rushing by. David, what's the update right now and, and what's coming for the next few days? Well, you know, it's going to be an active week ahead, guys. We're talking about we're going to have really about each and every day at least an opportunity for some severe weather coming up, not only well, today, obviously, but then as we get into tomorrow, uh, will be unstable. The dry line will be back into western Oklahoma tomorrow. So uh, off and on this week, just need to stay weather aware, all right? Trackers are ready, choppers are ready, and uh, we're, just, we're just ready to go for whatever happens. Trackers are still out, heavy rain going on. Alan Brosey's down in a big storm to the southeast of Oklahoma City. Let's take his shot full screen. Jim's up, and uh, let's get an update from Alan Brosey and uh, check in with him and uh, find out where he is and what's going on. Alan, still some weak rotation down there. Uh, but nothing too crazy right now. You're on the air. Go. Yeah, David, those rotations come and go. Every few minutes they weaken, they dissipate. Uh, I'm about two miles east of Tecumseh right now, getting ready to go north on 177 to check another rotation out just to the northwest of town. And uh, we're going to head towards Shawnee and uh, stay with it. We've got heavy rain, strong winds, 40-mile-per-hour uh, average winds out here. Uh, it'll pass, but right now we're in the middle of it. Back to you, David. All right, good job, Alan Brosey, again, near Tecumseh, still tracking these storms as they are uh, lifting north. Let's go to Bobby Payne, and uh, this is an interesting feature here in Bobby Payne's shot. Let's take that full screen. Bobby, uh, leading edge uh, of the gust front, it looks like, possibly. What do you think? Give us an update. Uh, David, right now, I'm uh, just south of Earlsboro, real close to it, and uh, I'm trying to, we just stopped, so I'm trying to make out what this feature is just to the uh, north, northwest, or northeast, actually. Looks like there is a little bit of rotation with this flooring that's just now to my north northeast. And I'm, again, I'm just uh, on the south side of Orosboro on Highway 9, looking back to the north northeast. Back to you, David. All right, good job, Bobby Payne. Again, uh, he's down near Orosboro and that little area of rotation down there that has been turning. Uh, nothing tornadic with that, though, but uh, Bobby Payne's uh, right there underneath it. And uh, there's water falling for sure. Let's go to the weather computer. A lot of rain out there, tornado watch. In effect for the counties in green until 6 o'clock. Tornado warnings now just barely south and east of McAllister. Also well south and east of McAllister. And the storms just east of the metro. These are severe currently, uh, but they are not tornadic. Rain in western Oklahoma. That will hang around for a while the next several hours, but nothing severe out of that. The severe weather now is going to be for eastern Cleveland County, Pot County, Seminole County, Hughes County with this line of severe storms lifting north. For Oklahoma City to Guthrie, down I-35, it's light to moderate rain. And here's this line of severe storms basically running from Calvin, Wetumpka, Holdenville, Seminole, uh, Shawnee. And in this line, you'll have winds in here. We're talking about 60 to 70 miles per hour. And from time to time, there is some weak rotation. The tornadic storms now are, again, off to our south and east, down east and southeast of Kiowa. And uh, again, McAllister's right here, so these are pretty far down there. Here in Oklahoma City, heavy rain up and down I-35, lifting north, and we're all over this. But again, this is not severe, 
and uh, right now this will continue to push on out but uh, nonetheless more heavy rain in the metro which is what we don't need you might have a little bit of some localized flooding but not that big of a deal guys back to you david thanks so much and just a good reminder for you at home get the very latest weather information from david and our team all you have to do is text nine connect to 79640 or go to our website news9.com slash connect it is your one-stop app for live radar and so much more. You can also interact with us on social media. All you have to do is use the hashtag OKWeather. And now our top story at 430, people in Purcell are bracing for another round of storms and more damage. This after Walnut Creek, they're flooded several homes and businesses. Our News 9's Adriana Vyshinsky has the very latest new at four. We are here on the south side of Purcell, and now that the water has receded, everything is covered in a muddy, slippery mess, both outside and inside. Every single room in this house is coated in red, gooey mud. Looking around, it's hard to imagine where to begin the cleanup. This is your parents' house. Right. And has it ever flooded this bad before? No. This woman does not want to show her face, but did show us around her mother and father's home. She came by here Monday morning to survey the damage and to see what, if anything, survived. I don't know where they're going to start. I'm sad for them. They're going to have a lot of cleaning up to do. Even the family cat is muddy, but only one of her many kittens survived the flood that overtook this home. The family only managed to find this little red fur ball, appropriately named Lucky. They were staying outside at the time and they didn't. My parents only rescued that one. Yeah. So the other kitties didn't make it? No. She says her family doesn't speak English very well, but fortunately did have insurance on the home. But she doesn't know if all of this flood damage is covered. I mean, does it look like a total loss to you guys? I mean, yeah, most of the stuff is ruined. And this family is just like every single other family out here, just wishing the rain would stop so they could begin their cleanup. Reporting in Purcell, Adriana Ivashinsky, News 9. It is such a mess there. By the way, a neighbor was also able to save one of the family's other cats, but no word if any of the other kittens survived. Historic flooding over the weekend forced several local lakes to shut down. And for Memorial Day, too, lake officials say nearly all public access at Arcadia Lake is closed today, including the beaches, boat ramps, and docks. Also, new campers are not being allowed into the park. And at last check, lake levels there at Arcadia are about 11 feet above normal. And also, much of Lake Thunderbird in Norman, just east of Norman, is also closed. Lake Thunderbird Authority began releasing even more water from the Lake Thunderbird Dam at 6 a.m. at an increased rate because the lake is overflowing so much. Officials say residents living in the Little River area from 180th to County Line Road should expect more flooding and be prepared to seek higher ground. New developments tonight connected to the flooding now in Kingfisher. Yesterday we reported all the main roads out of Kingfisher were shut down due to high water. Okay. Travel was possible in town, but outside the city limits, everything was flooded. But today, an update for you. We are happy to tell you the water has receded. Officials tell us the main roads are back open in all directions, including Highway 81. And we just have a, a heartbreaking story out of Claremore. A firefighter loses his life while trying to rescue a family stranded in the floodwaters. Captain Jason Farley fell into a rapidly flowing drain pipe. Teams of firefighters and rescue workers tried all night to save him. Claremore firefighter Zane James rushed in and also got pulled into the drain pipe. He managed to get out and we've checked he is recovering in the hospital. Captain Farley's body was found hours later when crews dug up the drainage pipe. They're family, so it's gonna be really hard uh, for our department. He's, my, he's our hero. That's for sure, because he, it could have been our grandkids, my daughter. Mm, just heartbreaking. As soon as the news was out of Farley's death, flags at the fire stations were lowered to half staff. Our thoughts with that fire department and the family. Now to Sepulpa, firefighters came to a woman's rescue when rising waters trapped her inside her home. Bob Mill Sky News 9 HD, Jim Gardner over the scene when firefighters were using that pole to check for any pitfalls. With the water so murky, the only way to be sure they had solid ground beneath their feet was to use the pole. Sepulpa's fire chief says his crew trains for this kind of rescue. 
That training paid off as the firefighters were able to get the woman from her home to the street safely in just a matter of two minutes. Glad she is safe. Around the nation, we are not the only ones dealing with severe flooding. Texas also hit very hard by the storms. The Blanco River in San Marcos rose 26 feet in one hour. One hour flooding roads and wiping out homes. At least three people were killed in Texas and Oklahoma, including a teenage girl who was on her way home from the prom when her car was swept away. <laughs> Officials say 12 people are still missing now. Happening right now, authorities in Woodward County in Northwest Oklahoma are looking for two runaway inmates. Here's a look at them. The sheriff's office says Juventino Rojas and Carlos Gastelum were discovered missing around four this morning. Both men are serving multi-year sentences for drug trafficking. If you have any information, please contact the Woodward County Sheriff's Office. And around the nation, Washington, D.C., police say a bomb squad safely destroyed a pressure cooker found on routine patrol near the National Mall. Authorities say the suspicious device was spotted in an empty car west of the U.S. Capitol. The owner was arrested and charged with operating after revocation. You know, there's an increase in custard demand, demand for foods that are considered healthier with less artificial ingredients. Small companies are capitalizing on this concept. And now, major corporations are also jumping on the bandwagon. Joe Wagner has new information. A lot of kettle. At this popcorn factory in Harlem, brother and sister Jeff and Jen Martin and their small team pop and package Pipcorn, a new snack that's all natural, gluten-free, and vegan. And they say that has been a huge selling point. And so many people are conscious of what they're putting in their body. It's not just specialty food startups that are going natural. Many of the nation's biggest food companies are also changing their recipes. Kraft recently announced it's removing artificial orange and yellow dye in its beloved mac and cheese. Tyson is getting rid of antibiotics in chicken. Chipotle removed all genetically modified organisms, or GMOs, from its food. Panera Bread is cutting artificial ingredients. And McDonald's said it's simplifying its chicken recipe, slicing any ingredients you can't pronounce. Going back to simple ingredients, all natural. Marketing professor Michelle Greenwald says Americans are more aware of their health looking for natural foods without artificial ingredients, and they're willing to pay a bit more for it. It's a quality of life issue that's kind of an affordable indulgence. So now we'll add, it's just a really nice, high quality sea salt. Martin says their customers want that quality. After just three years, they're already expanding to keep up with demand. For an all natural business, that's popping. In New York, Jill Wagner, CBS News. And still ahead, we check in live with Jim Gardner and Bob Mills Sky News 9. He is flying along the Cimarron River where two homes fell in the water earlier today. That is coming up next on News 9. CBS Tonight in 3, 2, 1. This team who's up for a little James Bond action. Me? Not me. Let's do it. It's pure genius. There's always an answer. We just need to find it. Quick, punch me in the nose. Finally. Why is it you geniuses are such a pain in the Are you serious? All of us. We're Scorpion. The hit drama Scorpion. CBS Tonight, 9, 8 Central. Afraid your air conditioner won't keep you cool this season? Call Airco Service today to schedule your air conditioning 26-point tuna for only $86. Call 715-2665. Voted Oklahoma's best. So Hyundai was like, we should have a sales event. And I was like, yes, it's on. <laughs> but hurry in, because these deals are hot. You see those cool cars? Yeah. Well, look at this smoking deal. 0% for 75 months? Hey, what? Now that's hot. So do you work here? I cook here sometimes, huh. usually on the weekends. Use your military coupon now to get up to 5,500 total savings on the Sonata Hybrid. Visit buyhyundai.com. This is the moment you've waited for. No school, no work, no worries. Wind in your hair, heart in your throat, hands in the air. This is where families who play together stay together. With good, clean fun for miles. It's all smiles in Branson. Start planning your vacation today at explorebranson.com. It's the Volkswagen Memorial Day event, and it's time to break out the SPF. 
Savings, performance, fun. Right now, you can enjoy great deals on your favorite VW models, like a $500 bonus on the sporty, fun-to-drive Jetta, or the powerful, roomy, mid-size Passat, named one of Ward's 10 best. Don't miss out on these fun-in-the-sun deals. Visit the Volkswagen Memorial Day event today. Hurry in, and you can get 0% APR for 60 months on 2015 Jetta and Passat gasoline models, plus a $500 bonus. Anyone who calls it a hobby doesn't understand. We know that a person's passion is what drives them. And that's why every memorial we create is a true reflection of the individual. Only a Dignity Memorial professional can celebrate a life like no other. Find out how at DignityOklahoma.com. Spring savings are in full bloom at Airco Service. Purchase a high-efficiency cooling system, and you can save up to $22.50 in rebates, plus 0% financing available. Now's the time to save. Call Airco Service, 256-2925. Voted Oklahoma's best. We're going to give you a live update right now because earlier firefighters had to evacuate dozens of residents living in the Twin Lakes community that's near Crescent this morning after rushing water caused two homes to literally fall right into the river. Unbelievable. And they've had more rain, more homes could be in danger. Let's go to the air. Jim Gardner and Bob Mills Sky News 9 HD flying in that area with the update. Jim, how's it looking right now? Well, that's right. Uh Jim. I lost a, I we got lost you. off air. Yeah, we got you, Jim. Can you hear us? It's Robin and Amanda. You're on. Yeah, I'm sorry. We're having trouble with our off air up here. You're all right. Uh, yeah, we flew by uh, Twin Lakes there. You can see some of the homes hanging. One home is almost ready to fall in there. Another home part of it has already fallen off into the river there. It has cut part of the road away there at Twin Lakes, so they really have really bad erosion problems there at Twin Lakes. So we saw a person standing out there just watching the dirt fall off. And there's really nothing they can do as it just eats its way back into those homes. There's probably going to be a couple of more homes fall off in there before it's all said and done. Hopefully we just won't get any more rain. Jim Gardner Point Live from Bob Bale, Scott News 9, back to you. Mm. I think it'd take a miracle to not be getting more rain because as we've been talking with David, it looks like more rain in the forecast. And David, I mean, just yeah. to hear, you know, these homes hanging on by a thread, know, they don't need any more no. rain to come yeah. or the water to run any faster. Yeah, no, and those homes have been there for gosh knows how many years. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's just been a horrible event. The last two or three weeks, we've just been bombarded with wave after wave. And uh, right now, the wave currently is beginning to move on out. So we're not going to get any more That's rain good. as far as heavy rain out of this. It'll end, and that'll be okay. But then we have more rain, more storms tomorrow, tomorrow. that could give us more heavy rain tomorrow evening. And tomorrow night. How much and then, more can we handle? I don't you know? know. I don't know. I guess if it doesn't, you know, kill you, it makes you stronger. Is that right? Is I know that what it is? Had, yeah, That's right. If it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. No, I think so. We've had stretches where we've had flooding yeah. in the state before, but I just can't recall where it seems like it's dragged out so long, yeah. David. Yeah, and started in March. We had the yeah. really kind of the end of March, March 25th, the more tornado from there, and then it just kind of, yeah. it's just been kind of endless. And we're in a weak El Nino, which is an active weather pattern. We talked about that uh, over the winter months, and this is a pattern that we're in. This is typical of that which is great for ending the drought, but now we're getting, now we're, yeah. we're getting a Inundated, lot more than we yeah. really needed. Okay, here's what's happening right now. Trackers, they are still out. Jim Gardner is still up. The bottom line is we still have a few severe storms in our state, but nothing severe in Oklahoma City, nor will there be. Right now, it's just going to be light to moderate to heavy rain, but it's quickly now beginning to end on the western sides of Oklahoma City. Let's go to Marty Logan's shot and get an update from Marty, and uh, he's right here uh, across central into southeastern Oklahoma, well, southeast of the metro, down near Prague with those storms over there. Marty, again, still strong, some gusty winds, lightning and thunder, but they might have weakened a little bit here in the last half hour. Give us an update. Okay, we are just east of exit 200, which was uh, the town of Little, I-40 eastbound. You talked about gusty winds. We just got hit from the uh, south side with some 40, 50-mile-an-hour gusts and very heavy rainfall, which is not going to help the people over here. Uh, we're going to continue eastbound on I-40. Keep an eye on things. We've seen some lowered bases but nothing coming down out of them, just a lot of heavy rain. Back to you, David. All right, great job, Marty Logan. Again, eastbound on I-40, east of Oklahoma City. And uh, again, he's tracking these storms that are still severe. Val is still out. And uh, let's see where Val is. Val's up north. Let's go to Val Castor's shot. And uh, i tell you what, I think he's still in the system. Val, you're up near Guthrie. The rain, again, it's fairly heavy, but the good news is that when it just gets almost serious, it's going to be ending here in Oklahoma City. No rotation with this valve, as you know, so we're in pretty good shape, but we're still talking about this rain. Give us an update. 
Yeah, David, uh, the rain appears to be the big story at the moment. Right now we're on I-35 and we're west of Stillwater, uh, headed north towards Perry. And the rain, we just came into a very, very heavy storm, I guess you could say, looking at radar from one west of Stillwater. And, uh, you know, right now we haven't seen anything as far as rotation or anything that uh, warrants any uh, problems like that. What we've seen and what causes the biggest problem now is rain. And this rain continues to come down. And this is a place, uh, even up here, there's been a lot of rain. And some, a lot of the rivers were out of their banks. We just went over the Cimarron River, and it was way out of its bank. So we don't need any more rain, but we're going to keep tracking it. Back to you, Dave. All right, great job, Val. Again, he's up, uh, again, near Guthrie, up near Perry. And uh, he's kind of hanging around parts of Logan County currently. Okay, let's go back to the weather maps. And today, yes, we've had tornadoes in our state with some damage uh, north and east of Durant, some damage down here. Uh, down near Blue, Oklahoma, which is going to be south and east of Atoka, southwest of McAllister. Damage here, also down along the Red River. This is tornado damage, where you see the red dots, okay? But uh, right now, the tornado threat is still ongoing, but uh, it is now just barely east of this same area. Uh, no tornado threat now for Oklahoma City. The tornado watch for the counties in green. It does include Oklahoma County, but uh, we should be dropped out of that because uh, there's nothing like that developing overhead. And the severe storms just to our east are still... Uh, just pretty close to being severe with winds, 50 to 60 miles per hour. A couple of tornado warnings still going on south of McAllister and well south and east of McAllister right now. All right, let's jump to it here. And again, this is on Storm Shield 9. There is a swath of rain, kind of the last hurrah of this storm system in western Oklahoma. This is going to quickly move to the northeast the next several hours. You'll get some light to moderate rain out of that, but not a big deal. Nothing severe in that. The heavy rain now along and east of I-35, Shawnee, Norman, you're drying out, which is great news for Norman. Down to Paul's Valley, you're about ready to dry out down there. Still raining heavily in Ada. And the severe storms are just about almost trying to go away. They're still strong enough that winds will be 50 to 60 miles per hour. Again, running from Chandler, Stroud, Prague, down to Shawnee, Cromwell, Wewoka, Holdenville. This leading edge is where the winds are right now that are 50 to 60. And across the metro, the rain again up and down I-35, up to Guthrie. Still raining heavily in Arcadia, Luther, Jones, Choctaw, Hera. And across the metro, look at the rain beginning to quickly in. And even some sunshine coming in from the west. And up north... Pretty stout storm now between Covington and Enid, crossing 412 right now, lifting north. Heavy rain in here. Might even have a little bit of some small hail in that. And here's this rain out west, Cheyenne, Moorwood, Leedy, and this will keep pushing to the northeast, but nothing severe out of that. All right, and the bottom line is the rain will end here quickly in Oklahoma City. 61 degrees in Oklahoma City, looking off to the northwest. Lake Hefner, yes, we are full. Temperatures in the 60s and 70s, a little more sunshine going on to the west of this line right now, at least in the southwest. But this evening, the rain and storms push into northern and eastern Oklahoma. The rain out west will push to the northeast. But here in Oklahoma City now, really, as the evening moves along, slight chance of rain here. Overnight tonight, lows in the 50s and 60s with a south wind. And overnight, a little rain in the northeast. Tomorrow, highs back up in the 80s with a south wind. It will be very warm. The dry line will try to set up out west with a boundary north of that. And right now, tomorrow afternoon, the chance of showers and storms goes up to a 60% chance beginning in the west, becoming a 60% chance mainly tomorrow evening coming in from the north and from the west. And some of the storms tomorrow could be severe. The main threat, large hail, damaging winds, but even isolated tornadoes possible tomorrow. Nine-day forecast, still a chance for storms, folks. Wednesday into Thursday, a little bit better chance Friday, Friday night into Saturday for a while. We will begin to kind of bring the chance of rain down, though, late Saturday and into Sunday with highs in the 70s. And early next week, 80s for highs. Next week, we start to dry out a lot more. Guys, back to you. David, thanks so much. Well, one man claims he's been tormented by disturbing voices in his head for the past three years. He says the voices constantly tell him negative things about himself and others and even threaten his family. Family members believe that he has mental illness, but the man argues he was drugged and implanted with a microchip, and that's where the voices are coming from. How did he come up with such a theory? We'll find out. Dr. Phil investigates tomorrow afternoon at 3. And then we hope you join us tomorrow at 4 on News 9. Two storm-chasing helicopters, only on News 9. Pick up a copy of David Payne's storm tracking map. Just stop by any area Arby's location. Storm maps presented by McCann's Roofing and Construction. Gardner and Bob Mills, Sky News 9 HD, only on News 9. 
At Sam's Club, find top brands at members-only prices. Here's the savings breakdown. A large, delicious rotisserie chicken for $4.98. Savings breakdown, $1.81 a pound. 80 Folgers Gourmet Selections K-Cups for less than 50 cents a cup. 50-count Frito-Lay Classic Variety Pack. Savings breakdown, 25 cents a bag. Join your new club in more now and get a gift card worth up to $20. Sam's Club. Life is better in the club. Sculpting the sleek body of the Mercedes-Benz GLA took nearly 600 pounds of high-strength steel. Setting industry-leading safety standards took 20,800 crash simulations. And perfecting its engine took over 1.1 million miles of extreme driving. But this may be the most impressive number of all. The 2015 Mercedes-Benz GLA. See your authorized Mercedes-Benz dealer for exceptional offers through Mercedes-Benz Financial Services. It's the best year ever for a Frontier City Whitewater Bay Double Park Season Pass. Unlimited visits to two great parks. This summer at Frontier City, the mind-blowing new Brain Drain throws you for a loop, plus concerts and Fright Fest free. Whitewater Bay, 30 water adventures and dive-in movies. A new ride, concerts, water park fun, and more. A Frontier City Whitewater Bay Double Park Season Pass is Oklahoma's best fun deal. Buy now for just $75.99 at Metro by Less Stores or FrontierCity.com. You should see me when I play basketball. Oh, yeah. hey, look, it's Kevin Durant. Hey, we're drinking your Kevin Durant signature slushes. Can you give me one? No. no. I'll play you for them. All right. One on one? On one? What? Now what are you going to do? Don't go to the left, go to the right. Did go right. No, not your right, my right. What are you talking? <laughs> oh! We got slushed. Oh, he got slushed. Up your game with the new Kevin Durant signature candy slush, part of our slush headquarters. And don't forget our half-price shakes after 8 p.m. This is how you Sonic. Hurry, the race is almost over. We're on the road to 500, and Express Credit Auto's got to sell 500 cars before the end of May. Did the other guys say no to your credit score? We can say yes. We're offering lower car payments and lower monthly payments on a huge selection of cars, trucks, SUVs, and minivans. This sale ends Saturday, so come see us today. And don't worry about your credit. We can say yes. Everyone's a winner during the road to 500, only at Express Credit Auto. It's an action adventure for all ages, where the best scenes begin with a perfectly delivered line. And the ending always makes you feel good. Come experience outdoor theater at its finest. From some of the best seats in any house, it's playing all summer long, only in the Show Me State. Enjoy the show at visitmo.com. New developments surrounding the unsettling discovery that reality TV star Josh, Josh D uh, D Duggar. Duggar, that's yeah, how they say that. Josh Duggar admitted to molesting girls as a teenager. Yeah, TLC has now pulled repeat episodes of 19 Kids and Counting off the air after In Touch Magazine mm -hmm. published the police report outlining the allegations. Several petitions have also been started on change.org now for the network to cancel the series altogether. But so far, TLC has not announced any cancellations. And former supermodel Janice Dickinson has filed a lawsuit against comedian Bill Cosby for defamation. The lawsuit claims that Cosby drugged and then raped her back in 1982 and then ruined her reputation and branded her a liar when he denied the allegations last November after she revealed that this had all reportedly happened. The America's Next Top Model judge said Cosby attacked her after giving her a pill that she thought was for pain relief. So far, Cosby's lawyer is dismissing the allegations, calling them false and outlandish. More to come on that. Mm -hmm. I want to show you this. It's caught on camera. A veteran skydiver injured during a Memorial Weekend event in Tennessee. Oh, my, oh goodness. my goodness. That is so scary. Okay, oh, he jumped out of that plane gosh. during the red, white, and youth celebration, and then you saw his parachute got tangled up in the power lines. Uh, he was airlifted uh, to a hospital. Non-life-threatening injuries, oh though, were heard, uh, were hearing. Witnesses say the wind appeared to have carried the man off course, but then he did eventually give the crowd a thumbs up to let them know he was going to be okay, oh. amazingly. Okay, we'll be back with more in just a moment. See what's happening all around Oklahoma so you can plan your window on Oklahoma. The Air Comfort Solutions Sky Cam Network, only on News 9. 
Sure Hats, Oklahoma. It's David Stanley Chevrolet's first ever truck extravaganza. One big sale, two great locations. Silverado is number one. And so is David Stanley. Celebrate with in-stock Silverado at 75% of MSRP. And it's back. Purchase a new Silverado. Get a Chevy Spark at no extra charge. And at David Stanley Chevrolet, everybody rides with approved credit. Please, no dealers or wholesalers. On I-35 in Norman and I-240 in OKC. It's that time, and Mathis Brothers is proud to once again team with Zoo Friends so we can offer family memberships at huge discounts to the Oklahoma City Zoo. This year, you pay just 49 bucks for a $70 membership, and Mathis Brothers makes up the difference. You get unlimited trips to the zoo for the entire family for a full year, and we'll even throw in a free gift. It's 30% off family passes to the zoo for an entire year exclusively from your friends at Mathis Brothers. 3434 West Reno. What does your body say about you? For many of us, it says too much. But with Slim Lipo's patented dual wavelength technology, you can lose up to three pant sizes in a single procedure with little or no downtime. Slim Lipo tightens skin while eliminating fat cells. At Rejuvena, we have more liposuction and body contouring options to fit the procedure to you. Let us help you start reshaping your future today at Rejuvena. Call today for 50% off Slim Lipo. This month only at Rejuvena. I'm outside. Where are you? I'm right here. I'm in the Buick. I don't see a Buick. 